Kim Davis, the Rowan County clerk in Kentucky, is now being held in contempt of court because she defied the Supreme Court and has refused to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. Now, here's a brief clip of what happened when a same-sex couple tried to apply for a marriage license. I just want you all to know that we are not issuing marriage license today Why? pending... In contempt um, of court. What appeal is left? Pending the appeal it's in the Sixth denied. Circuit. The What's appeal, the appeal in the state has been denied. denied. Mm -hmm. Right. Issue. The injunction so, is the order that you're supposed to issue marriage licenses. And we're not issuing marriage licenses today. The Supreme today. Court denied your stay. We are not issuing marriage licenses today. So Based would, on what? I would ask you all Why to are you not go issuing marriage licenses today? Because I'm not. Under Why? whose authority whose are you authority? not issuing marriage licenses? Under authority. authority. Yeah. So now there's a pending case against her, and she had asked the Supreme Court to issue a stay, but they had refused to intervene. Uh, Therefore, with that being said, uh, she has exhausted all of her legal options. She has uh, nothing else left to do but do her job and actually issue the marriage licenses to same-sex couples. Uh, yet, she still refused to do that. So, U.S. District Judge David Bunning ordered her to be held in contempt indefinitely until she agrees to do her job. Now, before all of you conservatives cry about judicial activism, just know that this judge is not a judicial activist. He was actually appointed by George W. Bush and is relatively conservative. Now, here's what Judge Bunning had to say. He says, quote, her good faith belief is simply not a viable defense. I myself have genuinely held religious beliefs, but I took an oath. So now, according to Huffington Post, that judge could hold another hearing in about a week or two to see if she is willing to comply with the law. And if not, well, then he doesn't have to release her because she's going to be held in contempt until she actually accepts the fact that she was elected by Kentucky taxpayers and she needs to do her job. So what are the other options here? Well, one, she could step down as a county clerk, but she's refused to do that. Now, another option is that she could potentially be impeached. However, uh, under Kentucky law, that's a very complex process because the Kentucky legislature is actually the one who has to impeach her, and it's a very lengthy process, so that's very unlikely. Now, another option is that uh, the executive branch could file charges against her since she is technically a criminal, but whether or not that's going to happen, it's yet to be seen. So the good news is that since she's been jailed, Anyone at the, Ro the Rowan County Clerk's Office that also uh, decides to follow in her footsteps and refuses to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples will be held in contempt of court as well. Now, the good news is that they're not sticking with her. They're like, mm, sorry, Kim. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> but <laughs> we're through with you. Uh, we're done with the nonsense. We're just going to go ahead and do it even though we disagree with it. So finally, this happened. So now let's step back and put this in perspective for a moment. This is what she's fighting against. She's fighting against two adults that love each other. That's what all the commotion's about. See, this is what Christian family values is about in the year 2015, apparently. It means that you uh, discriminate against people who disobey God's laws. Uh, now, as stated in the video that I showed you guys, she's operating under God's authority, right? Well, as you'll see, that's not really the case. So... Kim Davis has been married four times. <laughs> now, I'm going to explain to you the ridiculousness of her past uh, with marriages and how she's violating traditional marriage herself, but I'm going to read it really slow, so try to bear with me here because this is difficult because there's a lot going on. So, while she was married with husband number one, she fathered twins with husband number three, and then she divorced husband number one and married husband number two. So she had kids with uh, what would eventually become her third husband, but she found someone else and married him and divorced her first husband. So now husband number two then adopted uh, the twins that she fathered with husband number three, uh, but then she eventually divorced husband number two and married husband number three, which is the individual who she had the twins with. So now she has since divorced husband number three and has remarried husband number two the man who adopted uh, number three's kids. So this is now her fourth marriage. Oops. <laughs> Looks like she's not following God's law as well. And under God's authority, well, she's just as guilty as gay people, if not more. Because all of the men that she has been with since her first husband, well, technically by biblical standards, by her own God's standards, she's committing adultery. <laughs> 
It's that simple. Now, uh, the thing that's ironic here is that her God hates adultery so much that he decided to make it one of the Ten Commandments. Now, when it comes to uh, homosexuality in general or same-sex marriage, God didn't care so much about that to the extent that he thought, you know what, I'm not even going to put that in the Ten Commandments. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Just don't cheat on your spouse. Don't remarry. So it's clear. Kim Davis is a gigantic hypocrite. This isn't about her uh, religious values. Those, that's just something that she's using as a justification uh, for her bigotry. But even if it were the case that she was very uh, genuine about her Christianity, that she had these uh, long-held religious beliefs, well then, uh, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your religious beliefs are because she is a government official. Now, what's the one thing that we're all thinking about this? Well, she got arrested. She's going to be seen as a martyr. She's going to be a superstar on the right. But <laughs> it's not going to be the case that, uh, I don't know if you remember the pizza place. I think it was called Memories Pizza, where they said that they would not serve a gay couple uh, if they came in and wanted them to cater their wedding, which I don't know which gay couple uh, would want their wedding catered with uh, pizza. But anyways, uh, they got a GoFundMe page and made almost a million dollars. See, what Kim Davis is probably thinking is, look, I'm going to be a martyr. I'll just suck it up. I'll be in jail for like a week. But in the end, they're going to set up a GoFundMe uh, page in my name, and we're going to be set for life now, a million bucks. But here's the deal. GoFundMe actually changed their terms and conditions so that way if an individual is uh, guilty of committing a crime, you cannot raise money for them. So it is not going to be the case that Kim Davis will have a million or potentially multi-million dollar GoFundMe account. <laughs> so it's not really working out in her favor to be a bigot. So now this is what uh, Kim Davis gets for all of this. Her picture is going to be in the civil rights section of all history books, and she's going to be known as the bad guy forever. And she's not even going to be rich because of it. She has nothing to gain now. All she has to gain is uh, prison time. <laughs> so... Again, this is just ridiculous, uh, so we'll see really how long she's going to uh, hold up and will remain in custody. Uh, now, because, I mean, look, the choice really is hers. All she has to do is say, look, I'm going to issue marriage licenses to gay people. I understand now that what I did was wrong, but she's not going to do that. Now, here's one thing that's, I think, really interesting. Even the Republican presidential candidates, such as Jeb Bush and Donald Trump, They've even condemned her actions, saying that she needs to follow the law. So now if you've lost Republicans, you're done. You're on a sinking ship. Just get off of it, Kim. Come on. So now with that being said, she has garnered uh, support from some bigots. There was the hashtag Free Kim Davis on Twitter. Now, that was almost immediately hijacked. So I'm going to read you some of my favorites from the hijacked tweets. So here's one of them. Uh... Free Kim Davis, she's the white Rosa Parks who refuses to get off the bus until the bus stops letting black people on again. Very well said, uh, from Joe My God. Free Kim Davis because we do not want her turning gay in jail. <laughs> I don't know why he hashtagged Ben Carson, maybe there's something that I'm missing from that, but anyways, my favorite one, uh, hashtag Free Kim Davis, worst coupon ever. <laughs> So that one is uh, that one wins in my opinion. So what's the takeaway? The takeaway is that it's 2015. Being a bigot does not pay off anymore. Stop it. <laughs>